Tom here from Lawrence Systems and TrueNAS Core 12 has been released with update version 6. This release was on October 5th of 2021, which of course I promptly loaded it because why not live on the edge? Load and maintenance and update release. Okay, it's probably not the most exciting step forward. It's not the biggest revision and change. Once we get to these later, like U6 where we're at now, there are really minor bug fixes and maybe a few slightly major ones, but they're not a ton of quality of life improvements on there. But the question a lot of people have and well, did the upgrade go well? And this is October 11th of 2021 and I can say it, the systems I've done all my testing on, I had no issues at all. It was, well, just another maintenance release and the update went fine, which is of course what we want to hear because we don't really want too much excitement on our stable storage servers. We'll leave all the excitement still in the true NAS scale, which by the way, another beta was released and uh, go ahead and try the nightlies if you want to get real exciting. But that's a different topic altogether. I have videos I'll link to that. I've already talked a little bit about true NAS scale and yes, I'm still excited about it. Back over here to our friend, the stable TrueNAS Core, and yes, it's still stable. Now, before we dive into the details and changes, if you'd like to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a share project, there's a hires button right at the top, which of course includes TrueNAS Consulting. If you'd like to support this channel in other ways, there's affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on the channel. And yes, uh, we uploaded some of the shirts also to have no branding on them. For those of you that asked, I'm, no problem. Someone said i really wish you'd do that and i was like well that's an easy request so we did that if you want to check out our shirt store we're trying to get a few new shirts up there depending on when you're watching this video all right on to the changes and i like how they started out right here true nas 12.0 u6 was released today and is now the most recommended update for even the most conservative users who are using true nas core and true nas enterprise with this release comes the resolution of approximately 90 issues including user group Default quotas have been updated, displayed properly, some NFSv4 HA improvements, more extensive SMB regression testing, shadow copies. Now, this is something that, of course, has been kind of a buggy issue with U5 that they fixed where you couldn't see the shadow copies. And then we have the open ZFS dedupe, better web UI filtering by name. As a matter of fact, they added specifically here. This is one of them I thought was cool. Uh, they added regex to this. Fix ability to show all snapshots and add regex filtering for snapshot names. If you're someone with a lot of snapshots and in, in larger pools, this can certainly be a problem. Go over here, actually, right over to snapshots. And you know, there's a few pages in here to roll through. Not too many on this particular server, but if you needed to find something quick, like my videos, if you can spell videos right while you're doing this. There we go. Now we filtered it just for LTS videos. This is going to be a nice feature, I think, for... I, I dealt with a few clients that have had some really large pools, a lot of snapshots. So I'm uh, surprised that request didn't get fulfilled even sooner, honestly. But it's, it's good to see that it's in there. Uh, ZFS dedupe enabled. Uh, uses SHA-512 to check some algorithm. I may do an upcoming video on dedupe. I was looking and realized there's a little bit of confusion about it, uh, how it works. So I thought maybe that needs its own explainer video. Let me know in the comments below if you're confused by that. But something something maybe I should dive into. I have a few other storage videos planned as well. And then down here is a list. Like they said, there's 90 bug fixes. But hey, sometimes they're simple. Something like uh, typos and error messages or can't delete data sets based on certain circumstances. So lots of great fixes here. Also, there are some improvements in here in terms of new feature support and support for Tiger, Alder, and Meteor uh, Lake. So this is all some new upcoming Intel stuff that's in there. So the supported there is going to be welcome. Now, what about the systems themselves that I upgraded? I figured I'd bring it up because this is my oldest system. And I was kind of like taken back sometimes looking at all these other ones I have with a lot of cores that this one's still running. It doesn't do anything important anymore. I kind of feel like it's a science experiment at this point because yes, it is just an Intel i5 4570 with 3.2 gigahertz and the drives running in it, one of them in particular, well, one grouping of them, I'll show you how they're set up in a second. The 5,700 uh, 57,888 hours of on time. So they've been powered on for about over six years. This is about when the system was built. And this i5 was not the newest thing out six years ago when we built the system, but it's amazing. It still works. The only thing we've done to this, and yes, this is a consumer motherboard in here. So uh, feel free to poke at it. No, it doesn't have ECC. So feel free to comment on that as well. Um, but yeah, compared to these other systems, it is substantially underpowered, but that's what kind of makes it 
interesting to me is how basic it is and how it has worked for this long. Now, the disc in here, because I cumulatively have added several discs to it, it's got a series of VDEPs. And I have a video I uh, broke down how unbalanced VDEPs work because these drive groupings are groups of two terabyte drives, three terabyte drives, and four terabyte drives grouped together, each one composing of, and I actually go to pool, status, each one's its own grouping of redevs on here, and it's actually worked really, really well uh, without any trouble, obviously, for this many years. For those of you wondering of how does it work on long term, quite a bit. This is how we expanded it by adding four more drives at a time, starting with the two terabyte drives. Then we got a set for three terabyte drives, then for uh, four terabyte drives. So uh, this system's actually been surprisingly trouble free and we're just going to keep it running as long as possible it just is a extra replication of all the data we have here at the office but there's one thing that's going to be done to it i am going to be erasing the drives and rebuilding them because if you notice this right here it is still using the legacy encryption legacy encryption keeps this from being able to go to true nas scale so i'm not going to be able to do an in-place upgrade so because it's just a bunch of replicated data, I will destroy it and rebuild it. The only thing semi-critical, I guess you could say it runs, it's got an extra copy of sync thing running on here in the jail. So maybe I'll make a video about doing the process of backing up jails and putting them back. You can't back them up and move them over to scale, but you can back them up and put them back when you destroy a data set. Uh, there's some processes for that, and I'll work on a video covering that topic. But overall, the systems have their replications in place. They're working perfectly fine. I didn't run any issues after doing the upgrade. Everything worked before the upgrade and everything continued working right after the upgrade. Plus there's a lot of bug fixes. So my overall, I can't see any reason not to upgrade. Now, for those of you that have been holding back, there is a recommendation that you at least get to version 11 U5 prior to going to 12.0 U6. So there are some incremental jumps that's documented over on their page. So go ahead and consider that if you were one of those long holdouts and waiting a really long time before you jumped into the 12 series because of stability or compatibility issues that you found worked better in 11. But the good news is if you always take all your backups and do this, if you do go forward and something goes completely awry or wrong, you can revert back provided you have all the backups on there and don't upgrade the data set because then once you upgrade to the newer version of ZFS, there are features that may not be supported in that pool. Therefore, the older version may not work. So always take that in consideration when doing the upgrade, but I uh, give it a thumbs up. Definitely recommend you move to the latest version. And yes, I will be doing more updated videos on TrueNAS scale as more features and it comes closer to being release time as uh, I'm still excited about that. But TrueNAS Core still has a long time and a long life ahead of itself of good stable producible performing system that i will keep using at least for some of our mission critical things i'm going to stay right there but of course i love bleeding edge and playing with it so i'll be doing more of that too leave your comments and thoughts down below or have a more in-depth discussion in our forums and thanks and thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed this content please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more content from this channel hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to hire a sure project head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the hire us button right at the top to help this channel out in other ways, there's a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.